When the GV70 was released, it had our attention, but this model is gonna spark up some interest. If you thought that Genesis was done electrifying vehicles like the GV60 and G80, you'd be wrong. By 2025, they plan to release all new EVs and become an all-electric car company by 2030. So in light of that claim, they've decided to give their compact SUV some electrons. If you notice, this GV70 looks similar to the ICE version. That's because this still rides on its own platform, unlike the GV60, which is based on the Ionic 5 and the EV6 platform. But besides a new grille, some new wheels, and the back bumper, it pretty much looks the same. Genesis made it easier on themselves from the very beginning, and that's because they left room and opportunity for the original GV70 platform to easily be made into an EV. Gone are the exhaust outlets and back, and instead there's a clean layout. I'll miss those outlets. The wheels here are an electrified GV70 exclusive, and under the hood, the windshield washer fluid and engine bay cover are in familiar spots, but now it houses all of the electrical bits and a tiny compartment with space for a tire repair kit or a small bag or a snack. And if you're looking for the charge port around the vehicle, you won't find it, but here on the grill, you see the small G, you press it in and boom, you have the charge port right in front. And this also has vehicle to load capabilities. So if you need to power up a refrigerator or have a tailgate party, you can do that. On the subject of charging, Genesis did not give me range numbers, charging speed, nothing. But vehicle to load capability, ooh, that's something, right? And every electrified GV70 will have standard all wheel drive. And yeah, I'm sure you wanna know how fast it can go, but power numbers, uh, we don't know yet. Hmm, okay, we don't have power figures, range numbers, or charge speeds, but I can tell you the inside looks just as good as the outside. The interior still maintains a great upscale vibe around the cabin with soft materials and a manageable layout. The large 14.3 inch touchscreen and 3D digital gauge cluster are still here, but these glacier white colored seats are exclusive to the electrified GV70. And like before, sitting in the GV70 is great. I'm 6'4", I have plenty of leg room, plenty of head room. I can even scoot the seat back just a little bit. And check this out electric steering column that's that's pretty cool but overall everything looks exactly the same you have a nice large touch screen up here and you also have your rotary dial for your shifter right here steering wheel feels great this color looks amazing i mean it's really nice in here but in the rear seats one thing to keep in mind if you're sitting behind someone as tall as me you're gonna be a bit cramped in the leg area and headroom is just fine. So, uh, scoot over to a normal sized person and you'll be just fine. And there's also a transmission tunnel. So if you have someone in the middle seat, they'll be hiked up just a little bit. I'll note that the batteries for the electrified GV70 don't massively change the interior space, which is great. So you'll still have workable cargo room. I don't have cargo room figures either, so don't ask. And the batteries have a skid plate underneath, not only for protection, but aero as well. You may be saying to yourself right now, I already bought the GV70 gas powered version. Well, if you go on KBB.com and get your car's value, maybe you could sell it or trade it in and get the electrified version. Go on KBB.com, get your car's value. The link is in the description. Genesis does a great job at preserving the integrity of their luxury compact SUV for the EV market. In their case, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, electrify it. Production for the electrified GV70 is expected to start sometime in December of 2022, and it'll be the first Genesis to be assembled outside of Korea in Montgomery, Alabama. Excitement continues to build with the future electrification of Genesis products. And if the future looks like this, it might not be so bad. <laughs>